Hello, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another walkthrough, well, mission walkthrough for GTA San Andreas. CJ is now taking up residence in Las Venturas, but he has yet to have gone to uh, the Four Dragons Casino to see Woozy. In the previous video I did on gathering horseshoes, I did get all 50 horseshoes and I did unlock the weapons. So I'm going to do a bit of a preamble to Woozy's video and explain that the weapons in front of the Four Dragons Casino is the weapons that CJ has earned. And I've done this before with tagging and photo opportunity. You get much better weapons. In this case, you get a very powerful weapon three very powerful weapons if you get all of the horseshoes. So let's get on with the preamble and then the actual mission. CJ can actually save in front of the Four Dragons Casino, but he gets weapons from the horseshoes. You get this submachine gun, an M4, and a semi-automatic shotgun with a explosive pack, which you really don't need, but hey, it could be useful at some point. Naturally, I'm going to save and then head back into the casino because the missions for Woozy don't start until later on. So this is the Four Dragons Casino. It's kind of a nice layout overall. Um, slot machines and video poker. Gonna play video poker five bucks instead of five thousand. Hey, lot better game. But I'm gonna sit here and gamble forever. No, we're better off getting on with this mission for Woozy called um, Street Catch Up or something like that. You'll see what the name is. Idiot! Do you realize how much those machines cost? We're supposed to be opening it. What the fuck was that? Hello? Hello? <clears throat> what the fuck is wrong with you people? Boss, CJ's here. Carl, glad you can make it. So, this what you've been doing? Yeah, it's been a complete nightmare. You want a stomach ulcer? Try opening a triad casino in a mafia-run town. The mob trying to squeeze you? Yeah, the corporations are moving in and everybody's feeling the squeeze. I've had slot machines busted up, workmen being scared off. So who behind this? Huh? Well, there are these three mob families operating here and each of them has a stake in Caligula's casino. And some whacked out lawyers running it for them. It could be any one of them, or all of them. Can't you just give them a little something? No. In addition to the usual authorities that need bribing, each one would want a slice. And I'm not about to hand over all our profits to some wise guy Italians. Our profit? That's right, you heard me. I want to offer you a share in our casino. In exchange for some help setting it up. How's that sound, partner? Sound like we got a deal then. Boss! The boys found some thugs trying to smash one of the deliveries. We caught one of them. Get rid of him. Hey, wait. Hold up. Hold up. Come here. Whoever's behind this, we need to let them know that they're dealing with full-fledged psychos. <laughs> Time to the front of the car, then you sweat it out a little, and I'll be out there in a little while. See if we can make this guy squeal. That's my car. Hey, hey, who the fuck? Who are you on time, huh? You know what? I think we're gonna take a little drive. What are you fucking stupid? I'm not joking here. On time, motherfucker. Nah, I think I'm gonna leave you right where you are. 
You got any idea in that pea brain head of yours who the fuck I am? Nah, <laughs> but I think I'm gonna find out. The instructions say you gotta try and scare him, but you don't want to do a head on collision because you'll kill the guy and you would be tempted to get on the highway, but do not get on the highway. Just drive down what is the equivalent of Las Venturas's strip and drive in the traffic, do a little few crazy starts and stops and accelerating and etc. to kind of get the guy scared. And when the scare meter reaches the maximum, then the guy will confess. Now, what I'm heading toward is the Emerald Isle because there is a stunt jump in there in the parking garage, which should scare him a little bit. Um, we'll find out. I'm going to fast forward through to that point because it's a little boring to drive around in a circle in a sense. Okay, you get up to this level of the Emerald Isle, and there's this stunt jump. Jump up, oh, looks like it's level six. And you probably need a more powerful car to do this, but once you give it gas, there's really no turning back. And well, oh, I flipped the car, and the guy lived and drove off the edge. Didn't do a lot of scaring though, so I'm gonna have to drive around a little more, do a little crazy stuff. Oop. A little bit of a hit there, but let's drive around here, and he's going to confess. This, which family? The Sendako family, you idiot! That's all I wanted to hear. What? Oh, shit! So this guy tells CJ what he wants to hear, and now CJ has to drive back to the casino to finish the mission. Uh, again, I'm going to fast forward through this because it is boring. Well, what confuses me is they're going to kill the guy anyway. Why not let CJ, once he gets the confession, uh, crash the car and kill the guy? I mean, again, they're going to kill him anyway. Why not let CJ put him out of his misery quickly? And again, it's a basic mission. And I'm going to save here. And continue to rattle on a little bit about, hey, if you like this type of walkthrough video or don't like it, well, either smash the like or dislike button. But please subscribe. It costs you nothing and it will help the channel. And I will truly appreciate it. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. As always, Thanks for stopping by. You're gonna kill both of us. Oh my god, I'm still alive. I'm gonna smash you up for that. That is shit, don't scare me, asshole.